Hey everyone, this is Mega Man Tech Manager for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and I'm going to go over how to install this on Steam Deck. Now, if you look at the description of this video, I am going to provide the full game and the most up to date sprites in the video description below. And I am always going to be constantly updating this link so you don't have to worry about updating your game or updating sprites. It's always going to be the latest version in the video. Once you have that downloaded from the description, let's open up Dolphin File Manager and click on Downloads here on the left side and you will see the infinitefusion.zip. What you want to do is you want to right click this, hit extract, and then go to extract archive here. And what that'll do is it'll extract the zip and it'll create this folder. Now I'm not going to do it because the zip is two to three gigs large, so it is going to take a little bit of time, but you will get this folder full of files for the game here. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the discover store and you want to download two things in the Discover Store. The first one is going to be Proton. Now, with Proton, it's going to be able to be used to fix a lot of performance issues with a couple of non-Steam games, and this is very, very good to use for this game. So with Proton up hyphen QT, click on that and click on Install. Once it, ins once it is installed, you'll see this Launch button, so go ahead and click on it. And then what you want to do is click on add version and the latest version is always going to be already pre-populated in mine's 921 right now as of the video if it gets up higher make sure to use the highest version possible because there's going to be a lot, a lot more bug fixes and performance updates so make sure to use the latest version and not the one that you see here in the video whatever is the latest is what you want to use then go ahead and click on install i already have it installed but once it is installed you'll see it here in this box if it's not in this box, it's still installing, so just wait for it here to pop up before you close the window. Next, let's go ahead and install Wine. Now we need Wine because we want a program that allow us to use batch files on Steam Deck. So go ahead and install this, and then afterwards click on Launch. It will go through a first time setup wizard, so just like any kind of setup, just click Next and leave everything default all the way to the very end and click Finish. Um, you don't want to change anything here because we just want all the default values for Q4 Wine. But this will allow us to make game updates and pull the latest version of the game. So speaking about that, if you want to make a game update, say there's a new version of the game out, what you want to do is you want to open up your file manager, go back to downloads, go back to Infinite Fusion, then here you'll see installer update.bat. What you want to do is you want to right click that, open with, go to other applications, Go to system, go down to Q4 Wine, and this box will open. What you want to do is you want to make sure that these values are pointing to your game folder. Sometimes there is a Steam bug where it will point to the wrong directory to, like, completely. So you just want to make sure right now I'm in my downloads and it's in an Infinite Fusion folder. It is Home Deck Downloads Infinite Fusion, and that's what you want to make sure it has on both of these. And the first one here is going to have the installer update.batch file. So once you confirm that, go ahead and click on OK, and it'll start updating the files. Again, the files are always going to be updated when I give them to you, um, so you'll only need to do this whenever there is a future update for the game, which they're kind of far in between. So, um, yeah. Now let's go ahead and open up Steam and let's add this as a Steam game. So go ahead and click on add a game and add as, uh, add as a non-Steam game. I don't know why I can't say that, <laughs> but this is the option you wanna select, the first one here. Then what you wanna do is wanna click on browse, then you wanna go ahead and navigate to your downloads, go to your Infinite Fusion folder, and then what you wanna do is you wanna select game.exe. Now with future updates, you might not see these files anymore, and that's perfectly fine. You might not see this at all, and this might be renamed as Game Performance. Don't worry about that because we don't need these files. We need game.exe because this has the best performance for Steam Deck. So make sure to click open on that and then click add selected programs. Once you do that, what you wanna do is you'll see game here on your list. Um, if you don't see it, go ahead and type it in, but you'll see game.exe here. Let's go ahead and click on manage, then click on properties and let's rename this to something better like Infinite Fusion. And then from here, if you want, you can also, you know, select different icon images, or if you want to right click up here, you can select different backgrounds. It's totally up to you, but I'm just going to leave it like this. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to gaming mode and I'm going to show you the last step for this installation and you'll be good to go. All right, now that we're in gaming mode, let's go ahead and press the Steam button, go to library and go over to the non Steam tab. You can do that with the left bumper and scroll down to the I section for Infinite Fusion and press A. Once you press A, go to settings, go to properties, go to compatibility, select this option and from this drop down, you want to select that GE Proton. It's usually at the top, but I noticed now, for whatever reason, it's at the very bottom. Um, but the GE Proton version that you downloaded, make sure that you select that one. Then from here, you're done with the setup. So let's go ahead and select play. Now, if this is stuck spinning here and crashes or closes, that means you ran into the Steam bug with extracting that zip file. We have noticed that in the past. So what you, have, what you would have to do to fix that would be delete the Infinite Fusion folder and re-extract one more time and try it again. It is a weird bug and it doesn't happen like very often, but it has happened to a small number of Steam users. Um, but once you get here, you can see that it actually downloaded and we can play the game. Now what we want to do is let's go ahead and create a new game and save it in a weird slot. Then I'm going to go and save in file H. And I recommend you do file H as well, not A, because we want to make sure we find the save file correctly. So I'll show you what I mean by that. But now that we're not in the game anymore, I'm going to switch back to desktop mode and show you how to find that save file. All right, now that we are in desktop mode again, let's go ahead and show you where your save file is. So go ahead and open up the file manager again. And what you want to do is go to home here on the left side, click deck, and then you want to click on the dot local folder. If you do not see this, it's because you have this option here of show hidden files unchecked. So make sure this is checked and you'll see this dot local folder. Then you want to go down to share. Then you want to go down to steam, steam apps. Then you want to go to compact data. And then from here, you'll see a bunch of folders. And this is why I recommend using a weird slot because it can be in any one of these folders and if you have other game rpg maker games they'll have the same name like file a file b as the save file name so by us going to save slot h it makes it a little bit easier to find because i'm sure you're not using slot h for your other save files so from here click on this button and let's type in file h and hit enter from there, it's going to be looking for file h.rx data, which that's where our save file location is. So what you want to do is you want to right click that and let's hit open path in new window. And this will link you directly to the file path of where your save files are. So what I recommend you doing is right here, select roaming and you'll see infinite fusion. Go ahead and drag that here to the left side. And now you have quick access to your save file folder. So now you don't have to navigate through that whole thing over and over again. So what you can do is whenever you open up your folder and you want to go to your save folder, you can click on Infinite Fusion here and fire your save files. So if you have save files from PC, Android, Mac, or anything else like that, place them here and the game will get the save file for you. All right, but that's pretty much it, guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See you.